the widely used probe CFDA, or short for carboxyfluorescent dark acetate, is non-fluorescent. The two acetic groups at the 3' prime, 6' prime position of this compound render it membrane permeant. Where well, once inside cells, internal cellular acetates will remove the acetic groups and release the new form of CFDA, that's the carboxyfluorescent or the CF, which is fluorescent. And because this new form is less membrane permeant, the way to the other cells is to move through the intercellular pores or the plasma dust matter implants, thus making this dye the ideal probe to study intercellular transport and flow activity. Uh, in today's video, we're going to demonstrate the CFD loading into the root and hepacotyl of the Arthropsis plants, respectively. And uh, we will show how the two slightly different procedures will affect the bottom to top movement of this uh, fluorescent probe. To achieve staining results consistently, we store the harvested Arbidopsis seeds in 4 Celsius degree, 40% moisture cabinet. The newly harvested seeds stored in this condition for more than 7 days are readily used for sowing. To ensure every plant is grown in a relatively similar space in the petri dish, we are using a seed sewing gag card. Now, wetting the sterilizer tape, dip in the sterilized seeds, and sew the seeds one by one on the designated position. After finished sewing,